Okay, so today we're going to be rolling over to my buddy's shop. Uh, he's got a tent and vinyl and wrap shop. Uh, he's going to be upgrading the uh, his whole shop. It's a pretty decent size. Uh, it's all fluorescent. Uh, so we're going to be uh, converting this whole shop to LEDs. He's got the 8-foot T8s. We're going to be uh, doing a ballast delete uh, using the existing fixtures and going all LED. Um, he's got, I think, 11, 12 fixtures. Uh, so we're going to be doing the whole shop here. Uh, it's pretty simple, um, so we're going to show you how to do that, and I'm going to show you the before and after. So we're going to go ahead and head over there and get started. That's my boy Abby Shop, man. He is the tent. Man, look at him. There he is over there. Won't be tenting out. The charger. 2019 scat pack. Um, nice, nice. We're doing full window tint all the way around. Uh, nothing right. on the windshield. We got infinity over there. We got a full wrap job. We just finished on this charger here. Got the wheels and all. Got wheels and all. This Flat red. Project. Wrap job. So we got a little bit of stuff going on around okay, here. Okay, okay, okay. How long you been in the tent game? Uh, we've been here established in 2008 in Lumberton, North Carolina. Um, but you've been in the business for about 15 years. All so. right, all right. So, yeah, Lifetime yeah. warranty on everything. Everything, man. And we try. We're not the best, but we do the best we can when it comes to doing a job. And that's all that matters. Now let's check out the vinyl man down here. No. Getting the wheels hooked up. No, I'm not the vinyl man. Got the vinyl. Well, the, the assistant vinyl man. How about that? Hooking it up, hooking it up. Full wrap on a charger. Y'all did another full wrap on a charger just like this one. Uh, what was it last week? Week before? Yeah. All right. Got the CK. Then the five seven drop on it. Spring spindle shocks, flip kit, notch. Supposed to be doing the black one over there soon. Alright, so you see half the lights don't work or the ones that do work suck. Yeah. So let's check out the bulbs. Yeah. Here we got the bulbs. Got the T8s. These are the ones with the single end of one nipple. You like a big nipple, don't you? Got these on Amazon. Anyway, so I'm gonna start on these here since they're the easiest to get to. And I'm lazy, I don't wanna be climbing up the more than I got to, so. So we got the, uh, so we killed the power over here. Went ahead and pulled the bulbs out. Now we need to pull these, twist these pins, these curves will come off. And we'll get to the ballast. I have to delete the ballast on these. I'm gonna show you how to rewire them, so. Okay, so first thing I've done, went ahead and cut the wires coming in and out of this ballast uh, on this one. Because I want to try and um, make sure I have enough wires possible. I'm going to try and um, shouldn't have to add any more wire to it if we retain all these. So I so went ahead and unload this. I'm going to get this pulled out of the way. Then I'll uh, show you how to uh, get these straight wired in here. Okay, so we got the first one done. So. What you want to do is you'll have one end. These wires are different than uh, the color and than the ones I'm used to. So you have one end that's just got one wire going into each one. You will have another end, if you can see down there, it actually has two wires going into each one. But this one is just crossed over. So the end with one end, which is going to be this blue, you want to run this to your line, which is the black. Actually, the way they had this building wired up is red but typically it'll be black and then the end that goes with the uh with two wires it's gonna go to your neutral so yeah that pretty much sums it up so what we're gonna do now is um kind of clean these wires up i left them long just because i was just testing everything uh so now i know because like i said the wire and the color is a little different than uh what i'm used to in the older stuff um so i'm gonna go ahead and i'll clean this stuff up 
get it tucked in nice. We'll put our covers on, put our lights back on, and then we'll show you how they look. Okay, this is how it looks when I'm done. So you can see how much different it looks. You get a nice bright white light versus, you know, dingy, yellowy light. So another good thing about these is being these are up on the wall like this, uh, we can actually rotate these down to however we want to light up our working space here. So I'll go ahead and start on the rest and what I'll do is I'll give you a um, a look once we get them all done so you can see the before and after on. I think it's really gonna make a big difference in this working space here. So stay tuned. Electrical engineer. Caleb. What was that performance? I do something to make the ends meet. I'm working three jobs trying to make the ends meet. Three jobs yeah, and that. YouTubing. Who knows those trace? Well, YouTube ain't paying nothing, so. Uh, yeah, so like well, your stuff up. So yeah, y'all do something. Um, don't be real out, man. It's, it's growing over here. It's rock, though, man. We, We're making everything LED for Abby's window tent. Definition of a window tenter. Heavy in the game. Highly skilled, somewhat. <laughs> Smile, bro. Can't read, bro. <laughs> I can't read that good. Right. So here's another explanation of the wiring. So we've we cut the ballast out. So here's your power coming in. So of course you got your black, which is the line, the white for neutral, the green is uh, ground, um, or sometimes it's going to be bare. So your green is going to remain grounded to the fixture. What you're going to do with the black, the line, is you're going to run these on these single pin units, uh, light fixtures. You're going to run the black, which is the line, to the end. You're going to have one end of the fixture. is going to have one wire going to each tombstone, which is this end. On the other end of the fixture, typically, um, on the other end, typically you're going to have, uh, there'll be two wires going to each tombstone. On this particular one, instead of running two individual wires to each one, they ran one. So this one on the left, as you can see, the red wire, and then that is used the other. Then that is used the, uh, they ran, just ran this one, the red wire, to one side, the one pin on this left tombstone, and then they took another wire and ran from the second pin on this left tombstone over to the right one. So eventually, you don't have. So if that makes sense, um, maybe not. But anyway, so this side, so this side um, is only actually uh, one wire going into it. Like I said, sometimes there'll be multiple wires going, uh, two going into each side. Uh, you just wire all those together, and then you'll run them into your uh, into your white or your neutral. Um, on this particular one, like I said, they've got it wired. There's only one wire actually going to that end so it's already consolidated so we just run this to our neutral like I said the other side which are actually blue on this one which are actually blue on this fixture we run to our ground I meant sorry our line the black wire the line and then the green one is the ground which is grounded to the fixture so now we gotta do is just clean this stuff up and uh, put everything back together get our bulbs in so we should be good to go so he's up here putting these together. Sad. I think Mr. Ball's out performance has got us looking right. Let's see, how can I zoom in? I, I can't zoom in. Oh, there's Mr. Abby right there. Going hard. Going hard with the winter tent. And his sister. His yeah, his little assistant slash sister. She's probably better than all of us, bro. Probably. Mr. Caleb going hard. Oh, yeah. Commercial wiring 101. Who needs an electrician when you can have YouTube and teaches you everything? Call your homeboy.
Call your homeboy. No permits, no certification. Oh, no. I don't need none of that. I don't need no none of that. I'm going to get these lights right here. Yeah. LED lights we got off Amazon. Because we're cutting out the middleman like Lowe's and Home Depot. Spring from China, Taiwan, all that. Yeah. They can't made in China and Taiwan anyway. So yep. Oh, oh you should just. Oh, you should. You should you, oh, oh, he just throws it on the ground. Savage. City tires. Them Fairmont. DC and Fairmont. In Robinson County. There's other unit. There's some nice units. About ten dollars a bulb. You can't beat the shit. Where else you gonna find a bulb like that? You, you can't do it. Ten dollars a bulb. You can't do it. I, I, I press it. You can't do it. You can't do it. Made in China or Taiwan. Uh oh. And again, these are the ones. They got the single nipper. They got some that's got the two prongs on each side. It's a little different. Wiring those up. But. They don't have those, so I'm not going to tell you that how to do that. You have to figure that out, y'all. I can't do everything for y'all, okay? Yeah. Take All time right. on my busy schedule. Let's put these lights on. Decent. Got a mess. Especially this side. It looks. It's a big improvement over here. Big improvement. Big improvement over here. In the uh, in the vinyl area. In the vinyl area. It shows all the vinyl work. Shows all the colors off. Yeah, it does. It's nice. It's a nice. It's a lot. It's a lot cleaner look. What do you think, boss man? That's all that matters. I'm, I'm looking to check at the end of the day. I'm happy. You're getting a check at the end of the day? All I'm trying to do is impress the boss. You got a lot more. You got a, a, a nice white, clean light. You know, uh, should save me some money in the long run because you ain't got to worry about bulbs and ballast and then lower uh, lower light bill. So it's going to be it's gonna be more productive. Yeah. I mean, it's, just, it's a win-win for everybody. Yep. It really is. So. I, don't yeah, think I, he, I don't think he likes to build a... He said, he said, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, can I, you see, well, uh, uh, we don't want to talk about that, we was going to wait until we got done, but, um, somebody tried to tinker on these before I got here, I ain't going to say who, but, um, <coughs> they shorted out one of the tombstone ends, so, uh, we got the other guy going to get some, another one, and then we'll have that going, but, anyway, other than that, uh, that's how you wire up some 8 foot T8 single pin LEDs, about doing a balance for the week.